Good morning guys, happy Saturday. This week has honestly been so busy and hectic. We obviously got back from Edinburgh at the start of the week. Honestly had the best trip there. I go as far as to say it's my favorite city that I've ever been to, but I just absolutely loved it there. Obviously had such a lovely time with Jess and Jasper as well. Since we've been back, I've just been so busy with catching up with work. I had my dance work christmas party on wednesday so it has been a hectic week so i'm very happy that it is now the weekend but i'm just in such a good mood this weekend me and mum about to go out to some christmas markets my eczema is all cleared up i did go to the doctors and get some creams that they prescribed for me but it's all cleared up i'm not ill anymore and i've actually become a bit of a hair guru if you guys follow me on instagram then one of my hair videos that I posted got like, I think it's like five and a half million views, it's not ridiculous. Um, so yeah, like life's just going really well for me right now. I'm in a good mood. So hence why I've just done a cute hairstyle. Not that you can probably even see, but I feel like, you know, I have to live up to the name of the girl that's now currently doing videos on Instagram. But apart from all that, I don't think I've got anything else to update you guys on. I probably need to get a little bit of a move on and get ready. It's nearly 12 so me and mum need to get moving we're going to canterbury christmas markets which is a little bit of a distance away but we just thought that we'd go and see what they're like do you guys think i should put a bow in my hair or shall i just leave it like this i am going to quickly straighten it because it's a little bit wavy behind my ears i think i might just leave it how it is I haven't actually seen the back of my head, so I can only hope it looks okay. But um, yeah, it's basically the weekend before Christmas because next Sunday is Christmas Eve and I feel like it doesn't really count as a weekend. So I'm just gonna try and spend this weekend being as festive as possible. Aiden's not here for it. He's basically away the whole weekend. So um, just maybe some festivities, me, myself and I. Maybe we should do some baking tomorrow. Maybe a bit of Christmas bacon. I haven't baked in so long. <laughs> We've just been to the Christmas market. It's pretty small, it's pretty crowded. So we're just having a little look around, all of them. And I'm probably gonna get some food because I'm hungry. I was under the impression that we were coming here purely for Christmas markets, but um, we've made our way into a Primark, a Primark, a Zara. My mum's found something she already wants. Can I get it? If you want, that can be, that could be your Christmas present from grandma. Maybe some purchases will be made today. I wasn't planning on spending any money, but if, if we're coming shopping, then <laughs> we'll be rude not to. Me and Mum got some chips for our lunch. Nice. Mum's got rosemary, I've got plain with ketchup, because you know, that is literally me. I've just come across um, the midlife movies, <laughs> doing some little dancing, so we're just having a little watch. Lots of yard chips, made some purchases in Zara. It was gonna happen. And then, just have a little mooch around the Christmas markets. They're small and they're crowded, so we're not gonna go to those anymore. We've just come to Crumble Cups and we got a crumble and it's apple with hot custard. And they have this in London and I've never tried it before, but I've always wanted to try it, so having a fake one. How hot do we think it is? Am I gonna burn my mouth? It's really hot, that Taste custard, isn't test. it? It is good. good. We've just gotten home from Canterbury. Definitely spent more money than I was anticipating on spending and didn't spend the money where I thought I was gonna spend it. Kind of thought I'd pick up some last minute presents from the Christmas markets, but honestly, part of me knew the Christmas markets weren't gonna be that good. Like I think my expectations for Christmas markets are very high after Edinburgh because I felt like they were so cute and I just loved them and everything I did buy was things that I bought for myself that I didn't actually need and I just saw and wanted so that's how my day of shopping has gone. First thing I picked up was from Primark. I just got a little happy new year headband and I got this to use in like a hair video on New Year's Eve. I just thought it'd be cute. Maybe a little bit unnecessary but maybe I'll wear it on New Year's Eve as well. And then as I mentioned earlier, I picked up a couple of bits. I've been eyeing this up for ages. It's just a leather skirt from Zara. I got it in a size small and it was 29 .99, I believe, which is kind of spendy. I did spend like 60 quid in Zara on two things, but I really wanted it. And as I said, I've been eyeing it up for a while. So finally got that. And then the other thing I picked up was like this bomber, bomber? I think they're bomber jackets. I actually can't remember, but it's like a tracky zip up 
bomber style jacket it's really really soft in the inside and i got it in a light gray color again this was 29.99 and i just thought this with like leggings zipped up is going to be really nice but also they did have matching tracksuit bottoms like wide leg tracksuit bottoms that i was tempted to get but i decided against it i didn't want to spend like a ridiculous amount of money but they also had this set in like a stone color in black in like a washed out dark gray i feel like it could have been one of those pieces where i got one of every color but my mum and i also stopped off at tesco on our way home because i'm gonna make me and aiden like a roast dinner board i don't know if you guys have seen them on tiktok but you basically have like yorkshire puddings potatoes a little bit of veg stuffing pigs in blankets and gravy in the middle and you just like dip into the gravy I'm so excited for it and then our plan for the evening is to rent the era's tour movie <laughs> which is maybe a little bit sad but we're going to the era's tour next year so i i want to rent it if like that whole clip was out of focus um and yeah we're gonna watch it all night and i cannot wait to watch it all over again although it is 15 pound 99 to rent for two days which is Thought we could just do a quick little impromptu try on haul. Glad that I did because I'm probably actually going to take this back to Zara like tomorrow. I do not like this skirt whatsoever. Like if I have my legs apart, I feel like it's it's okay. Um, it just feels very like straight and yeah, I'm I'm not here for this skirt. I just I don't like it at all. I feel like it doesn't look that bad on camera, but in person no i already tried this on in store obviously i wouldn't wear a jumper underneath it but i may as well just show you guys what it looks like on so i quite like it like undone as well like it looks kind of kind of cute but then i really like it done up you can like tuck this in underneath and it's a bit more of like a <laughs> this outfit is horrendous but it's a little bit more of like a crop jumper I just thought with leggings like for dancing in will be really really nice so yeah I'm gonna go jump in the shower now I think I'm also gonna wash my hair because so much wax in it right now roasting the board is finally done after way too long we've got potatoes gravy lots of veg over here we also had some like little canapes before and then Aiden's got some stuffing and some pigs and blankets and then All obviously yeah and then we have gravy but we're probably gonna need some more gravy because me and Aiden love gravy. Roast in a board has been had. It was honestly so good. But right now, I don't know if it's gonna focus over there. I put it on the Taylor Swift era's movie. And Aiden's gone upstairs to go get the iPad so he can have some lyrics to sing along. And yeah, we're just gonna have to basically watch this every second of the day until our rental runs out to make use of how expensive it is so enjoy probably me and aiden well maybe just me singing along to taylor swift good morning guys happy sunday just getting ready for the day my plan is pretty chilled. I think I'm just gonna go to B&M to look at some Christmas decorations. And that's all I've actually got planned for the day. I did mention yesterday about maybe doing some baking. I'm not too sure though. I'll see how I feel. I've got a really bad stomach ache. I've had it for like a week now. And I've just been like so bloated. I think I always get it at this time of the year though because I can remember last year feeling the same and then at the start of this year feeling like this so maybe i just eat way too much like sugary christmas foods i'm not too sure but i need to take aiden to the train station we need to probably leave in like 15 or so minutes i don't think he's gonna be ready on time because aiden is never ready on time but we had a pretty late night last night because obviously we were watching the taylor swift era's movie and yeah i'm gonna have to literally play it all day today because I can't just watch it the once for £15.99. I've been using instant tan on my hands recently because I have laser next week. So obviously you don't have to put on any kind of fake tan running up to it, but I cannot be having pale hands. Luckily it's the winter and all you ever really see is my face and my hands. So I can cover the face with makeup. And the hands is just instant tan. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not obsessed with instant tan. I've never actually used it before now, but I used the Centre Pay Instant Glow one. I bought this and it was kind of expensive. You know, I, I do love a cheap tan, but I think it does the job. Right, let's show you the difference. So that's, I've just done it. Yeah, 
definitely can see a difference. But the annoying thing is, is you literally cannot get your hands wet. So obviously like when you're out and about and you go to the toilet, you go to the toilet with tan hands and you come out with pale hands. And yesterday I got a drop of water on my thumb and I just had a drop mark. How much do you wanna bet that Aiden does not bring down his mug? I'm gonna bet 10 pounds he doesn't bring it down. Actually, he could surprise us. We'll have to wait and see. Obviously went to sleep in plaits and my hair looked crazy i don't know how people go to sleep with plaits and then they wake up and their hair is like nice cute and wavy like mine just goes so puffy like i literally look like hermione from harry potter but i'm gonna make myself some greens to take with me because this bloating is just it's not the one you know like i'm actually in a lot of pain now i'm not too sure if these greens legit work like i'm really i don't know I guess we'll find out today if they do because I've never taken them whilst I've already been bloated and in pain. I've only taken them when I felt fine. But these are the ones that I have. They are the free cell greens and mango. I feel like everyone on TikTok talks about these ones. So we're gonna give them a try and I'll let you guys know if they help with the bloating. We've just made it to B&M and I've been here a couple of times to this B&M but I can't remember if it's a good one. I feel like B&M is so hit and miss whether they've got good stuff or bad stuff. And also it is currently the 17th of December and I feel like the Christmas decks might all be gone. Like I feel like they probably stopped stocking them pretty early on in December because everyone gets them early. So let's go have a look. Fingers crossed, we find some good bits. I've just seen someone walk out of B&M with a tree skirt. So feeling hopeful that they've still got Christmassy bits. And there's also an M&S here. So I might have to go have a look and get a tin of biscuits. I'm feeling optimistic. So we're gonna get a basket. I'm planning on getting a few decks if we do find them. Guys, they hardly have any Christmas decorations. Nothing that we want. I really like this mug though, but it's not got a tin. I kind of wish it was just plain. Um, but yeah, I've literally got a basket full of one thing. We basically just want like a plain garland, but this is the only one that they have, which is, it's a bit worse for wear. Currently distracted with all the throws. I absolutely love this one very nice and then i also actually really like the checkered one but i don't like that it's got gray on it and then there is like a more neutral colored one but again it's just got like gray and black why do you have gray on i'm not a gray girly also actually I like this one it's like a, a green color I'm not sure if i go with my pink that on my bed i feel like whenever we come out together i always have the most unsuccessful shopping trips like i wanted to show you guys all the christmasy bits but they literally hardly had anything but i did go into ms and they had the tin of biscuits that I wanted. They are like £12.50 though, or maybe just £12. And I would have got them. I know it is extortionate. Sorry, this sunlight is currently blinding me. And I was going to get it because it was the last one. But the tin was all like bent in. And I was thinking like, if I'm spending that much money for biscuits, I'm keeping the tin after. So I decided against it. But I did get a stir fry meal deal for dinner in like a couple of nights. I also picked up these. But as you guys can tell, I don't want to be bloated anymore. I got these gut health shots so I thought we could do one together and then finally I picked up my favourite falafel wrap and I haven't had that in so long but I'm actually gonna go into Dunelm I think is that the right one yeah it is I'm gonna go to Dunelm and Home Bargains 25 minute drive it's like kind of far away isn't it but i'm gonna go i mean i've got nothing else to do with my day i think i'm also gonna do some baking i found a sugar cookies recipe online and i absolutely love sugar cookies like the american ones so we can maybe stop off at tesco on our way home to grab a few bits i mean i think we've mainly got everything but i think i just need butter maybe eggs I have to ask my brother if we've got any eggs god i feel like this is gonna be actually but i'm gonna shake it even more this has got mango coconut milk pineapple turmeric high fiber and live cultures the initial taste is nice and the aftertaste is not so great i think i might just have half and then save the other half for lunch tomorrow seems like a good idea to me it's really not as busy here as i was expecting it being like, i literally thought that i wouldn't be able to get a space in the car park but there's actually loads of spaces so pop it into b and m no done out now how freaking cute little snowball baubles and then i'm definitely getting distracted but they've got some cute stuff in here i feel like i literally have to whisper in here because it's so quiet like i'm so shocked but i picked up some cookie cutters christmas ones for my christmas cookies but i'm currently trying to find a reusable lint roller aiden's mum has one and it's genius so i'm trying to find it but i don't know where it'd be i used to use one of these like I don't know, like chair pillows for on my bed. And I used to get so many questions about where they're from. And they were from Dunelm. 30 quid. 
kind of spenny, but it was worth it at the time. I loved it. Just got home. Before I give you guys a mini haul, did I... I think I showed you guys about my wrap. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, I did. Got my wrap, obviously. Got my stir fryer. I got, like, pad thai themed. So we got veg, sauce, noodles, prawns. And then this is what I was after. It's a reusable lint roller. It comes with a little mini one that you can keep in your bag. And a big one. And then, obviously, picked up my cookie cutters. And then I just got a couple of bits. We already had some. Brandon very graciously got it all out for me. Got some unsalted butter. Some sprinkles. These ones really reminded me of the sprinkles that you actually get on sugar cookies. Then I got some little icing colours. Because, you know, they make them all cute. Obviously, these... And yeah, I'm going to wait for this to get to room temperature, then we can start baking. I feel like my main issue is going to be the fact that we don't have like a KitchenAid or like a stand-in mixer. We do have an electric whisk, but because they're cookies, I feel like it's not going to work properly. Like I feel like you need like a big paddle. I don't actually know anything about baking, so I don't know what I'm talking about. But I feel like you guys can understand what I mean. Ow, just stab myself. I've seen some recipes say granulated sugar and some say caster sugar. I'm just going to do granulated because it was the first recipe that I saw. And this is where the hard part is going to come in. Oh god, I need to somehow, like, how am I going to do this? I don't want to use my hands, but the butter has literally all just gone inside the whisk. I decided to ditch the whisk and I ended up just like smushing it together with this spatula. But moving on, we're now going to crack one large egg in here. I love how I'm trying to make this like a tutorial. I don't know what I'm doing. feel like my hands are going to have to start getting involved in a little bit. I just feel like it's coming. <laughs> it's the worst part of baking is getting your hands in there. Guys, I just forgot we were meant to add baking powder and salt. So I'm going to do it now. I'm going to try and work it in there somehow. I'm just going to flour my surface. I feel like it's going to go really bad for me. I feel like it's going to get stuck everywhere. And obviously we have a rolling pin. So I'm just going to come back to you guys once this is done because I'm going to lose my mind, I think. Once I figured out what I was doing, it actually was not that bad. Definitely recommend rolling it out already on your baking paper. Otherwise it gets super duper difficult. But I also actually didn't flour my baking paper on this one. So... I don't know what's really actually going to happen. But I've now got to go in the fridge for two hours. This is why I don't bake, because it literally just takes way too long. Kitchen is completely clean. I thought I'd just clean it just to keep on top of it. But I thought whilst the cookies are chilling, I come in, put on a Christmas film. This is Deck of the Halls. It's my second favourite Christmas film. Haven't watched Elf yet this year. I feel like the older I'm getting, the less interested I am in it. Like, I'll watch it happily, but... I used to just watch that one, like that would be the only one. And I also thought I would sort out my dad's Christmas presents because I am seeing him on Thursday. So still haven't got them. To be fair, he did only send them over like the other day. So I'm going to put in the order now. And hopefully I can go pick it up from M&S before Thursday so I can take it. And he can have them for Christmas. We are back with the cookies and we are going to start getting them ready to go in the oven. Pre-lined this baking sheet earlier. And we're just going to pop the cookie out. If I'm correct, because we've chilled them, they shouldn't expand in the oven. So they should come out like this. I'm very excited. And then we've got a little star. This is the shape I think I'm most looking forward to. The little Christmas jumper. <laughs> they are currently looking like i thought they look so good i did have to re-roll this pastry actually this one i wanted it in on this batch so i could have a little taste test but the other batch is a little bit warm so i was thinking i'm gonna put those back into the fridge for a little bit just to harden up that's a little bit warm as well so it might expand in the oven but i'm just gonna put them into the oven at like 180 for i'm gonna try 10 minutes and see how we get on but as for this lot they are gonna go back into the fridge the cookies are out they're looking slightly anemic but I don't want to overbake them. They actually taste really good. I'm not getting sugar cookie. It's definitely more like shortbread, but 
They're completely cooked all the way through. I put them in for 12 minutes in the end. Yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised. So the next batch are just in the oven. Mm, they are so yummy. Cookies are now decorated. Honestly, I started to give up. As you can tell, these two jumpers were not the best. I think my favorite is this stocking and this star. And then over here, we've got an A for Aiden. And I'm just gonna leave these ones plain. So either Aiden can take them to work or I actually quite like them without any icing. So just gonna leave those ones. I've just had a shower. I actually cannot remember the last time was that I spoke to you guys. I've got a hair on my face somewhere. But I actually think I'm going to finish this vlog here and then do a whole separate vlog tomorrow and just do like a whole day with me, kind of like the last day of prepping for Christmas because I've got a lot of shopping to do, I say a lot, I've got a little bit more shopping to do tomorrow and I need to wrap and just like really sort everything out and I thought that'd be a fun vlog to do. I'd also really like to upload twice before Christmas because obviously once Christmas day has been, the vlogs are kind of dated, like you don't want to hear me talking about wrapping up presents and I'm not planning on having any time off over Christmas with YouTube, like I've got days off of my actual admin job but as for YouTube, I'm just kind of like, it doesn't feel like work to me. So I'm just going to keep on going. So I hope you all did enjoy this video. Make sure you guys leave a like, a comment. Let me know if you guys are excited for Christmas. I feel like as you get older, Christmas gets less and less exciting. Like it's really not as fun as it used to be. But it's still nice to spend the day with family, obviously. And make sure you guys subscribe if you aren't already. And yeah, we'll see you in a couple of days with a new video.